what are the three most common things that people ask you about when uh, they have Czech heritage and they might want to uh, explore the Czech citizenship? Uh, well, I mean, my clients are asking me a lot of questions for sure, but um, mostly they ask about if they are eligible for Czech citizenship or not. I guess this is the main question. And the answer to this is not really simple. That's uh, obvious because you would need to see their family tree, uh, all their ancestors' information, and so on. But I can tell you that if you have some Czech ancestry, some Czech ancestors, uh, you can definitely uh, contact us, and we will be happy to assess your family tree for free. Uh, so you know, just contact us, and we will let you know if you are eligible or not. Uh, the other question uh, clients are asking me often is how long this process will take. Um, and again, it's very hard to say, but from our experience, it usually takes several months. Um, I would say up to one year. Um, so we need to be prepared that it's not very fast process that could be done within a few weeks. And this is mainly because the clients need to collect their documents. Uh, we would need to do the translations and some official uh, copies for them, prepare the forms. And then when the application is submitted, we actually are we are waiting for the Czech government to decide. So this all takes some time. So you know, around I don't know six nine months is is normal timeline. Uh, and they are also actually asking me uh, if they need to give up their original citizenship nice. uh, because that's I think that's very important. And here it depends from which country they are. But if both countries, uh, because Czech Republic generally allows dual citizenship without any problems. So if their, if their country also allows dual citizenship, there is no problem. So for example, people from United Kingdom, United States, Australia, mm, South Africa, they are all fine because these countries allow dual citizenship without any problems. But there exist some countries such as Ukraine or Belarus, which can have problems with the dual citizenship. So, you know, the, there, there can be a problem. But yeah. for, for most of the clients, it's not a problem at all. Uh, the interesting thing uh, about that, um, Jakob, sorry to interrupt you there, is that uh, people don't actually have a choice whether they, through this particular pathway, which is like confirmation of citizenship, they just happen to be born Czech, right? Even, even though they're not born in the Czech Republic. So the That's process right. so itself in, in just case, confirms yeah. it rather than you, you don't apply for citizenship. So like um, foreign governments can't really um, prevent people from um, reclaiming their citizenship because they happen to be born Czech, yeah? Yes, in this case, there is an exception and this is the majority of case. So they would lose, you are right, so they would lose their their original citizenship only if they would naturalize in the Czech Republic, which is completely different topic uh, mm -hmm. than, you know, to be born Czech citizen. So yeah. yeah, so even from the countries like Ukraine, there is a high chance that you want to you know, give up your original citizenship. So for 99.9% .9 of our clients, the, there is no problem with that. Yeah. Uh, other questions um, my clients are asking me is, for example, if there is some language requirement, because mm -hmm. obviously, you know, Czech is a <laughs> quite hard language um, and hard to learn. Uh, so the good news is there is no language requirement unless you are going through naturalization. But if you have some Czech ancestry and you will go by declaration or by birth, uh, you know, there is no need to prove that you speak Czech and you don't even have to look um, for some properties in the Czech Republic because there is no requirement to live in the Czech Republic also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can become Czech even without speaking Czech and without living in the Czech Republic, yeah. which is definitely good news. But it's, it's of course, good to learn languages and uh, many of our clients do, but for an English speaker, it's a tricky language to learn. Uh, Jakub, thank you for that. I do have one other question. What is the strangest question anyone's ever asked you when it comes to Czech citizenship? Wow. Uh, so the strange, strangest question is probably if they can have four passports uh, <laughs> at the same time. And can they? Uh, and yeah, well, I, I checked and all the countries they had passports from uh, actually allowed the dual citizenship. 
which is in fact in this case is like more like multiple citizenship than just dual uh, yeah so i i told them that they that they can be collector of passports without any problems yeah <laughs> Uh, and of course, it's always wise to check um, uh, all of that with the country that you held your citizenship in. So uh, it, it's very important to um, check the status of where you're at with that. But typically, as you said, the Czech Republic um, doesn't recognize other citizenship. So when you're in the Czech Republic, you can't be a citizen of another country, technically speaking, but they don't prevent you from, from holding multiple uh, citizenships. So, if you are a collector of citizenships, um, checks also the way to go, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. And um, no matter what questions you have, throw them at Jakub. He'll uh, be able to provide you with detailed and accurate answers. Um, thank, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much, Eva.